Hey, nerdlings! What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for mail and mail? <laughs> Is that a thing now? <laughs> it's totally a thing now. <laughs> hey, nerdlings. Cam Nelder here. And you're watching everybody's favorite couple on YouTube, Do You Nerd? Some of the best mail and mail happens once a month here with your boy Floyd. Video Games Monthly. The monthly subscription service that gets retro games into your hands. You pay a small fee, you fill out a list of the things you already have so they don't send you duplicates. You pick the systems you want, they send you the games and you keep them. And you fill the shelves behind you. There's Floyd. Now, Hi, Floyd. we subscribe to how many games a month, but what's something that we like to get? One up, <laughs> two up, a bazillion up, a quadrizically bazillion up. Lady Lacey likes to hand these off to me. Here's the card that has the password to get you into the secret speakeasy of video games monthly. Ask for Joe. No, that says take a picture of your stuff, post it on social media, and you could win some more. This tells you, populate that list, fill in all the stuff that we sent you, or anything that you picked up so you don't get duplicates. Remember, it was custom made by Lady Lacey. We got one of them. Just the one up? Hey, I will take it. So that means four games in our box. What do you think of that back in the day, gamer? Ha <laughs> ha! It's a who is this? The pencil, it's a Super Mario pencil. So, uh, looks like you got the whole crew on here. Toad, Peach, Mario, Yoshi, and Luigi. And when you start sharpening it, I'm sorry to oh, say. Oh, my Luigi. <laughs> Luigi's the first to go. And Toad's the last. Mm-hmm. Your first up is a Nintendo product. Nintendo. What are them Nintendo tapes? Here's one tapes? of your Nintendo tapes. Ooh, Game Boy. So we have Street Fighter 2. All right, well, first of all, I see that logo for the Super Game Boy game pack. So that means you put this in the Super Game Boy and you just might get an extra border. Ooh. Now, actually, I think I have seen some footage of Street Fighter 2 on Game Boy before. Somebody was reviewing it, I can't quite remember who, but I just remember being impressed because it actually looks really good. But I will say, all of the characters kind of jump around like they're slow motion diving at you! <laughs> but it still looks good. So I hope that it plays well, too. I mean, it's Street Fighter 2. What else do I need to say? Of course! We got a very pristine looking across the pond 64 game. Oh, must be Japanese cartridge. Uh huh. And I think. I think it's a party game. Whoop whoop! It is a party. A Mario party! I was hoping for a mega party. Hey. You know what you need? A party! A mega party. I believe this may be the very first Mario party on the 64, do so we that's have pretty it, cool. The American version? We do not. Oh. First of all, that irks me because it's it's Mario. It's a Mario Party game. There were lots of them made. Anytime you see Mario Party games out in the wild, they're stupid expensive. Which is why I like getting the Japanese versions, because for the most part you can play them just fine. You can figure out the controls. Except for the instruction part. And, you know, you don't have to pay an arm and a leg for these. Just the arm. You can keep the leg. <laughs> Victory is mine! Real quick, Peter. Anything to say about the original one? Even if it is the Japanese one? Would you buy it for a buck? Is that the phrase? Would you buy that for a buck? Who knows? I bought this for a buck. We got a GameCube game. Ooh, I like to get the GameCube games. I love me a good Harvest Moon. Oh my gosh. I yeah. love Harvest Moon She games. does love the Harvest Moon series. No booklet and uh, just regular 
case, you know, not even the GameCube one, but hey, you got the disc. Well, this will look really nice in my lovely pumpkin spice orange GameCube. So it says that this is the biggest harvest moon ever. Well, I seriously don't think that's the case anymore. Uh, probably not so much anymore. <laughs> now, you have a little bit of history with the Harvest Moon games, but I'm guessing you haven't played, played no. the GameCube? No, the only Harvest Moon games I've ever actually played were on the Game Boy. I played the first and the second one, and then dabbled a little bit in the DS one, but I had a lot of fun with the first and the second one. Well, you are in luck. It says right here, Link Up Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town on the Game Boy Advance. Interesting. Oh. So I wonder what kind of uh, linking you do with the uh, GameCube version. I don't know. But I will say they broke the Nintendo streak. Okay. So we must have something Sega. Hey, hey, check it out. <laughs> he was a butthead. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's so cool. That's so cool, Beavis. What the hell? There's no book in here. Deep me for my bunghole! So... <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, not allowed to watch that show. Bad impressions <laughs> aside, actually, I, I've i never really watched Beavis and Butthead. I watched it when my parents went to sleep because I wasn't allowed to watch it. <laughs> I think it was... I think I was just old enough that it really didn't appeal to me anymore. I think I tried, but I was like, eh, I'm not really interested. I only watched it because everybody, everybody at school was doing it. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> but I watched it solely to feel relevant, I guess. Well, something nice is one or two players, oh. so we got some co-op action. <laughs> well, there's Beavis and us. Butthead, so you kind of need to... <laughs> Pull my finger. No way! <laughs> Come on, Beaver. Pull it. Okay. <laughs> that was cool. And it actually <laughs> looks really good. I mean, as far as looking like the cartoon, especially on a 16-bit system. What do you do as Beavis and Butthead, though? Well, funny you should ask. We were gonna go to this Guar concert. Remember Guar? <laughs> Then Anderson's stupid dog like chewed up the tickets. Now you gotta help us find the pieces or somebody's gonna pay for it. Probably Beavis. Oh. But it does feature the music of Guar, which is interesting. <laughs> you know, actually that was always kind of cool back in the day because there were a few games that would like feature music from bands. This was a pretty good box. I mean, we've got the, you know, it's not co-op, but a little competitive fighting action on the Game Boy, which we can also use on your pumpkin spice GameCube with the Game Boy player. <laughs> with a really nice jewel on top that but, uh, says, do you nerd on it? <laughs> we could do the Mario Party and try our best to figure out the Japanese instructions. <laughs> and... If you're sick of that, well, you could just uh, shut me out and work on I the know. farm. I will just go work on the farm. Got to raise some cattles. To hell with parliamentary procedure. We've got to wrangle up some cattles. <laughs> or just play some beavers in my head and make find your, those ticket stubs and make your parents so mad because you're you're still doing the beavers in my head thing. <laughs> hey, baby, check out my hands. Damn, we're smooth. <laughs> All right, nerdlings, there are our games for the month of February 2020 from Video Games Monthly, so please leave some comments down below on any of the gaming experiences you may happen to have with any of these or just anything else we should know about these games. And be sure to like the video if you happen to like it. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I'm going to spoil it for you guys. We're going to have another box next month. <gasps> Don't let them know that. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we have merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. And if we like it, we nerd it. Hey, you want to see a magic trick? No. Bubble wrap high!
Go Hercules.